harmonic structure of this tune in G minor is such that you could actually play uh, the minor chord, the D minor in this case, for two bars and the C for two bars the whole way through both A parts and B parts. So the challenge is to make it interesting without without dominating the, um, the sound too much. I start by using a little run into the C chord in bar three and then I add a little run on bars seven and eight of the, of, of the first A part. Having done that, I don't repeat it in the second A part, and instead I add a variation by putting in an A minor on bar four of the second A part. When it comes to the B parts, I add a variation by putting in uh, the G chord on bar two, which acts as a step to the C chord. As you can see, I do it in both B parts, and then uh, I have a little turnaround that I do at the end of the tune, on, at the end of uh, bar seven and eight of B2. The right hand pattern is a steady up down stroke and uh, I, I add a little emphasis onto each new chord by a little heavier strike on the bass note of the appropriate string. As you can see from the chord windows, these are very straightforward chord shapes using one or two fingers, so it's a really good place to concentrate on the right hand rhythm. Once you've familiarized yourself with the chord shapes, uh, have a go at playing through the chart, playing along with my part and uh, following on this video uh, there's an unaccompanied version of the melody uh, with the chord chart in view so uh, when you're ready you can have a go at that and uh, have some fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Two, three.